Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another Hardcore Iron Man progress video here today on the road to all collections, episode number 57 coming at you here. After taking a bit of a break from the PVM in the last episode to go ahead and work on some skilling towards the max cape, we do get right back into PVMing in this episode with several PVM clips. We have quite a long episode coming at you with a decent amount of live commentary in there as well where I ramble on aimlessly for several minutes talking about random stuff so you guys can look forward to that later on in the video. Uh, but the first couple of clips here we have are going to be some post commentary so let's go ahead and start rolling those right now. As you can see this first one we are here at Araxi about to finish off this kill with a hundred percent acid level not ideal but um, yeah, finished it off, and we actually managed to pick up a spider leg bottom there to add on to our existing spider leg top, moving towards our third and final weapon, hopefully, if we can pick up a web. So all we're missing for a full leg now is a middle, and I don't remember what my last drop was at, but that was at 338kc right there, the one that I just got, and that was my uh, eighth leg piece overall. So pretty sweet to pick that up, and uh, we are actually back at Rax. Once again, for this one, uh, I was just doing a Reaper, as you can see in my chat, and I managed to get a spider leg top, which is cool, but kind of unfortunate because it was uh, actually 1-3, so I wasn't doing middle path. Could have been my middle leg to finish off the whole leg, but it was actually only like nine kills after my last leg, so you know, you won't catch me complaining. All right, you guys, for this clip, we're actually going to be making a couple of purchases. The first one here is going to be at the Dungeoneering Reward Shop. Uh, and this is going to be an item that I should have had, like, long, long time ago <laughs> on the account here. Um, but I just haven't really done a whole lot of Dungeoneering at all. So I never had the chance to get it. And that's, of course, the Ring of Vigor. I currently have 72k tokens. Uh, all the Dungeoneering I've done in the past was just for like the very specific items that I wanted at the time, which was like the Charming Imp and the Bone Crusher. I think I got the herbicide with farming beans even. Um, so yeah, and then obviously like the scrolls that you want, I also bought, but uh, I never did pick this baby up and it is easily the most important uh, ring switch like out of any of them. I mean, I guess you could consider Luck of the Doors, but like just for combat, this is so important to have. Give you that nice 10% adrenaline saved after you use your ults. And uh, yeah, glad to be getting it finally. Uh, go ahead and buy it. And we now have a Ring of Vigor. Beautiful. Gonna be bringing that to pretty much everywhere now as it is very useful. Um, I am currently 85 Dungeoneering, so I now have access to Frost Dragons if I ever do feel the need to kill them. Um, might do that at some point, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a real ever really a point. I don't think they even have any unique drops, so there's no reason to kill them for Slayer Log. But yeah, 85 Dungeoneering. I've actually not been having too bad of a time with it, to be honest. I've kind of been enjoying doing it, mainly because of the fact that... Um, I'm doing the large floors. It actually makes it not too bad. And the Alt-1 Dungeoneering key map is very, very useful as well. So I'm actually not doing, not hitting it too much, so I might continue to do some here and there. But either way, I've got the Ring of Vigor now, which was the main thing I wanted. Uh, also, I just recently got 100 Invention, which is, I guess, kind of nice. Um, and I'm going to be getting 99 Prayer in this episode as well. I'm currently 98, only 374k off 99. I just uh, ran out of Marintils, so I went and planted a round of them and my herb patches, and I should be able to get enough from one run to get myself up to 99 using most of the remainder of my dinosaur bones. So that'll be a nice 99 to get out of the way, one I could have gotten for quite a while now and I've been talking about for a bit. Figured I might as well knock it out in this video, so I'll be having that in the upcoming clips. Um, and I've also been doing a bit of Slayer. I'm 600k till 103, and uh, I currently have a Celestial Dragons task. The main reason I'm doing Slayer uh, at the moment is because of Dungeoneering, actually. Uh, I want to get 99 ranged, which I recently got 98, because I do have a, uh, a Sagittarian short bow, which I recently got from the Skeletal Trio boss. So I'd like to have the ability to use that as my range weapon, and you know, obviously it's a really good weapon. My other two are the Prome I have a Prometheum two-handed sword, and then uh, the, whatever the tier 80 
staff is. Um, so those ones aren't ideal, but the Promethium 2H is good, and uh, it'll just be nice to have that uh, tier 99 ranged option. So I'm going to try and get 99 range through Slayer, and my I have the ideal task for that right now, which is Celestial Dragons. So I'll definitely be killing some of those. Hopefully we can manage to pick up some of the Dragon Rider pieces for our Slayer log. Um, aside from that, I don't think there are any other level ups in there to mention off um, as far as I know. Oh, one thing that I never mentioned, but I did get a couple of, I think it was last week at some point, uh, was the strength pet. So I did manage to pick up the, uh, I don't even know where the hell, oh, skilling pets. I did manage to pick up Kangali, the strength pet. Uh, it was around, pretty much around the XP I'm at, so around 20 mil XP for that. Um, so it was nice to get that. I've now switched my uh, XP over to attack win meleeing because uh, that's my preferred 120 cape. If I'm going to get either one, I'd rather have the attack one. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it, I think, on the updates of random stuff front, uh, as far as I can remember. I might have gotten a runecrafting level to 84. I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to go make our other purchase because I did say there were two. Um, and we're actually going to head over to Death's office for this. I do have another batch of 300 Reaper points, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase myself another Incomplete Hydrix here at Death's office. So let's go ahead and buy Incomplete Hydrix. There we have it. And we can make ourselves... Um, it's actually kind of tough for me. I'm not sure if I want to make... I should probably make the Death Touch bracelet first, I would think. Let me just quickly peek. Death Touch Bracelet. I think that's probably what I would want to make first, just because I don't have good gloves. Um, what does it give? Oh, does it not give any? Oh, okay, 14.5 to all styles and three prayer. What do these give? Okay, so this, it's actually better than the Masterwork gloves. Okay, so it's I think I definitely want that because, I mean, I'm sitting on dinosaur hide and ganodermic gloves for my ma mage and ranged. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and just pick up the death touch bracelet as uh, I do have the Asylum Surgeon's ring, which uh, I don't think the ring of death is much better than that unless you imbue it, which I definitely can't do because you need tech E for that. Um, oh, it actually, yeah, it's four points better. Um, so... Meh, it's it's kind of either way. Honestly, I'm gonna get another uh, another uh, whatever 300 points eventually, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Do I just use? No, I gotta cut. Okay, cut the onyx, use it, and we now have the cut hydrix. Um, I have obviously a ton of onyxes at this point from rack, so no need to worry about that. Um, and I might as well, while I'm here, get myself a Reaper task, because I just finished one. Oh, and we got racks again. Beautiful. I've been doing racks Reapers, and they give quite a good amount of points. So, yeah, some nice purchases there. Um, I guess I can go and make the bracelet um, while I'm at it, but don't really need to show that. Um, I think, yeah, I think the bracelet's probably the better choice, because the Ring of Death has some weird effect, but the, um, yeah, it's... When a target is killed, there's a 50% chance of restoring adrenaline by 1% for every 1,500. Like, the Asylum Surgeon's Ring effect is easily better. Saving you the full adrenaline on a threshold is an extremely nice effect to have. I actually often use the Asylum Surgeon's Ring over the Ring of Death on my main when I'm not worried about death cost. So, I think it's probably best for me to go. For the Hydrix Bracelet 94 crafting, we are obviously 99. And there we have it, our second piece of Hydrix jewelry, the bracelet. We just need to enchant this thing with, uh, it's probably the Onyx enchant, which is fire, earth, and cosmic. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this clip, you guys. Some nice little purchases there, upgrading our PVM a little bit, and um, looking forward to continuing on. I did just get off another four kills of racks. Um, I've been doing Reapers only uh, at the moment just because it's 1-3 and I didn't even honestly need a fourth like top but now that I have that I have even less reason to do top path so I don't really feel like doing the full hours 
it just I just hate top path and I don't know I don't want to waste this wax when I don't really need to grind the boss that hard so I'm just doing nice little 30 minute four kills on the top path while it's open um, but when 2-3 comes around I'm gonna go on pretty hard on that middle path try and pick up the middle leg piece and I'm really hoping we can pick up that web soon as well it'd be so nice to have a Nox set um, also we're getting decently close to the second threshold for the Araxite egg which will be 400 kills so we can get there pretty soon uh, let me just one sec I know this is a bit of a long clip apologies for rambling on for so long but I just want to verify one more time um, the, the Araxite egg Okay, so currently it is 1 in 250. Once I get this next threshold, it'll be 1 in 125. So about as rare as a hilt, uh, not too rare, and I'll probably get one during that threshold range at least, I would expect. Um, I'll, also, I have not had a single Araxite spider egg, which kind of sucks. I don't know how rare it is. Apparently it's pretty freaking rare, but uh, hopefully I can get one of those so I can breed it for the finishing off the, the spider log. Um, that just reminded me one last thing before I get rid of uh, get, end this clip off. Um, not super significant, but I have been breeding chinchampas for an extremely long time uh, on my player-owned farm here, and I finally, finally, finally got the golden chinchampa. So I now have eight out of eight chinchampas bred, which is very nice, and that rounds off all of the small pen animals um, on the player-owned farm for me. I also have sheep completed, just need the Araxite spider for the spiders, uh, and just need a shiny zygomite for them, um, and I have the cows done. Still don't have any yaks, and I have one dragon in my bank. I'm still trying to get a second one, either from a drop or this guy, but yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and end this clip off now, you guys, um, and I'll see you for the next one, whatever that may be. All right, you guys, so our Marintol herbs have grown, and we are now 2,200 XP off of 99 Prayer. I'm going to go ahead and get it here quick before my incense runs out. Getting 619 XP per dinosaur bone here, and there we have it. 99 Prayer. Now, I've had 95 Prayer for, like, a really long time. Oh, I guess I turned my private chat off, so I didn't get a broadcast. Um, I don't know. I don't really care all that much, to be honest, but... um. Yeah, I've been like 95, 96 prayer for a really, really long time because obviously you want to get uh, turmoil and all the good curses as early as you can. So not a big jump getting up to 99 here, but just another one knocked out of the way on our road to max cape. And of course, if we ever head to AOD, we can get the tier 99 prayers. Um, also, the cape is kind of good to have because it gives you the effect of the incense burners without having them lit at all. So... Um, I don't need to worry about having Marintils anymore for if I want to ever use up some more of my bones to get some extra prayer XP. Um, I'm just about out of the dinosaur bones that I had. I think I had around 3,000. Yeah, I only have 139 left. Um, and I also used up probably about 3,000 or so dragon bones as well to get myself up to 99 here. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Pretty quick, especially with those dinosaur bones. Really, really fast XP. Um, so... Yeah, nice little random 99, and I'm only 800k off 99 range, so depending on what I decide to do, I might go ahead and get that one next in the video as well. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe going to Armadil and getting it, but um, I was hoping to get a task. Right now I have Gano Beasts, um, so yeah, not 100% sure if I want to just go finish it off in this video or not, but one other thing that I wanted to mention that I forgot about in my video when I was talking about Dungeoneering is another reason that I'm not finding it too bad anymore is because I'm fairly close to max, which makes it quite a lot easier, like especially the combat when you're fighting stuff at near max combat is much easier, you have better weapons, and also uh, it's much more rare for me to find a door that I can't open with my skill because it's like, you know, too high. And if I do find one of those, you know, usually there's some divination wisps that you can quickly harvest and get a portent. Um, is it a portent? I think it is. Um, or I, I have a uh, artisan potion bound to me that I can use as well. So yeah, dungeoneering is not too, too bad nowadays. But um, either way, I'm going to go ahead and end this clip off. 99 prayer, done. 
So like I said, I did decide to go off to Armadil here, as you can see with some more post-commentary clips. Um, working on getting my 99 range here in for quite a long trip, as you can see by my full yak of prayer pots. And uh, right here we managed to pick up some Armadil boots, which is actually a nice drop for me. It's a new drop for our collection log, and also it can replace my dinosaur hide boots for my range boots because um, these are obviously power version. They give a range bonus, and I think they might give a prayer bonus as well. Yeah, they do. So uh, they're definitely preferable to my tank armor dinosaur hide that I've been using for quite a while. So that was nice to pick up. 310 Criara kill count right there. And I think that's only like our second drop that wasn't a buckler. So it was nice to see uh, a, a nice pair of boots on the ground there. And uh, quite quite a while later in the in the same trip, but in the second hour of it, as you can see, my supplies have dwindled a lot since the last clip there. Uh, although we are getting pretty close to our range level, we managed to pick up an armadillo chest plate. So another new item for our collection log, and another upgrade for my range armor, putting us with the top and legs now from armadillo. Uh, again, it has a little bit less armor than my uh, dinosaur hide, but it has a positive range bonus and a prayer bonus. And as you can see, 373 KC, that was 63 kills after our pair of boots. And uh, right towards the end of the trip, actually not too long after our armadillo chest plate, we pick ourselves up an armadillo helmet, another new item for the collection log and another upgrade to our range set, putting us at nearly full armadillo. We're only missing the gloves now for a full armadillo range set, which is going to be nice to have until we head off to Twin Furies. So pretty nice trip here. As you can see with the quick chat, it was only about... Uh, 9 or 10 kills later, I'm not 100% sure on that, but now we've got some live comm. Alright you guys, as you can probably tell, and as I probably mentioned in the post commentary of the past several clips, um, we did go ahead and decide to work on our 99 range there. I went and did a 2 hour Arma trip, and it just about ended up being almost the perfect amount of prayer potions that I had for the two hours, which was like a full yak, and then like I think 10 or 15 in my inventory. Worked out pretty good, um, and I got those three drops, as you saw, all new unique drops, all three of them for my collection log, which was pretty sweet, and also all technically upgrades for my range gear, because I was previously using Dinosaur Hide, which is a higher tier than Armadillo, I think, but it is actually tank armor, so the Armadillo armor has a range bonus uh, which is much better, and I'm obviously going to prefer that almost all of the time over the uh, the tank, the lower level tank armor, aside from like you know if I ever get Acto. So now we have almost full armadillo as our range set. We're just missing the gloves, which isn't a big deal, uh, and we're only missing two drops from the Criara log outside of the pet. Uh, the gloves and the hilt and the pet are the three things we're missing so After getting three bucklers as my first three armadillo items. We got pretty lucky with our next four being all different um, I'm sure that won't keep up, but yeah, it was a pretty sweet two-hour trip there. We're up to 393 Criara kill count um, Doesn't quite compare to our Krill kill count, but it is now far above our uh, Grardor kill count, and I haven't done any Zilliana whatsoever. Um, oh, I forgot. It's, uh, Commander Zilliana, of course. But um, yeah, that two-hour trip left us just 50k XP off of 99 range, and as luck would have it, I got a combat daily challenge um, at reset, so I can claim that, and I'll go ahead and use this lamp on range to get myself 99. Should give me about 60k XP, so it should be enough to get me it. Uh, and like I mentioned previously in the video, I believe, I am getting. I wanted to get 99 range quickly because it uh, will allow me to use my Sagittarian shortbow in Dungeoneering that I just recently uh, managed to pick up. So, yeah. Um, also, sorry about this, I forgot to mention, I did not get the prayer pet on my way to 99 prayer, which is very unfortunate because um, I think it's one of the more rare ones and uh, it would probably be one that I'm kind of waiting on for the Jack of All Blades title, I would assume. Um, and I also have not gotten the ranged pet yet either, but that's not as big a deal because I'm going to be still using ranged for ranged XP. 
um, until I get that, and then I'll switch it over to defense. So this is actually my second to last 99 for a combat stat, and I think it's kind of funny that Magic is going to be my last one to 99 because A, it was my first 99 on my old hardcore, and uh, B, I was 94 Magic when I first started this series um, after doing my Chaos title. So yeah, uh, pretty crazy to see that it's going to be our last one, but without further ado, let's go ahead and use our ranged XP lamp, and there's 68,000 XP in range, and we've hit 99. Very nice. So we get the uh, the cape, which I believe just acts as an Ava's accumulator uh, when you're wearing it, so not that useful, but um, the Shed Cherry and Shortbow is unlocked, as well as the arrows, so... Pretty sweet. We're going to go ahead and probably do a bit more dungeoneering, I think. Um, although I do really need to get back to some Hellweir. I've kind of been delaying on that this week. I do want to do it until I can start doing some of the higher level bosses with my Nox staff. Um, I don't know. I've just been focusing on a couple of other things uh, throughout this week. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next clip. If you can believe it, clips don't end there. We have one more here at Hellweir. I did decide to go do a Hellweir hour. I haven't done as much this week as I wanted to, kind of because I was doing a few other things. But uh, we actually pick ourselves up a Wand of the Kaiweir Elders here, which is a new item for our collection log, but uh, still not the item we're exactly looking for. It's nice to get because now I can uh, four tick with that, uh, the orb that I got, and my Nox Staff. So... If I am going to be maging anything, like once I get my crest, I'll be able to do some four ticking. Um, I'm probably going to start the very first boss I'm going to do after getting my crest is going to be Beastmaster Durzag. I'm going to try and get myself the uh, the books, uh, whatever the hell they're called, the Mazcab Codexes. Try and get some abilities and also start working on getting my techie for imbuing rings and stuff. As you can see by the quick chat, 172 Hellweir kills and that was our second real drop. Uh, we're jumping into live clip now. I am uh, here. We've been doing a, quite a bit of uh, divine charge gathering today. Got uh, 63 uh, divine charges. Was playing some uh, Big Pharma on Steam, a game that I recently tried out. It's pretty fun. Kind of complicated though, and uh, pretty long. Like just to play even a single challenge in the game takes quite a while. But it's good for AFKing, and I did need to get some divine charge. So. We have some now in here, a good, good hundred of it. I think I'm at max charge as well, or at least close to it. Uh, yeah, now I am at max charge with hundred left over. That's pretty good, and we still have a decent stock of empties to continue gathering with whenever I want to. But um, yeah, as you guys saw in the last clip, we did get the Wand of the Kaiweir Elders. I'm currently now at 182 Hellweir kill count. We have a wand and an orb, um, and we've also gotten four essences, and I think I got a dormant body from Hellweir as well. Uh, unfortunately, the main thing that we wanted when starting this boss, the crest, we have not managed to pick up yet. Hopefully we can get one pretty soon. I would love to make myself a dorm. Uh, I always get confused with the freaking God Wars 2 armor, the... Anima core body of Saren. That is what I would like to make. Um, we obviously have the Zeros one in here. But um, yeah, that has been added to our loot tab. We now have the dual wield Kaiweir, which like I said, we can use for four ticking if desired. Uh, we've got our extra spider leg top in here. Um, it's still not 2-3 just yet. Uh, I did do four more kills today. And I think I did four yesterday. I'm up to 357. Um, when it's 1-2 and 1-3 at the moment, I'm just doing uh, four kills, just a half hour, not using my Viswax, and uh, I'm usually just doing it for Reaper because, um, I don't know, I don't really, f I, I hate doing Minion Path as it is, so I don't really want to do a full hour of it regardless, and it's also not something I am in need of, the leg top. Um, so yeah, hopefully when 2-3 comes around in a couple days, I can get my middle and with, you know, with any luck, we'll be getting the web as well, which will be very, very nice to have the full knock set. And then we're just waiting on those eggs for the collection, which will be getting another threshold at 400 KC, of course. Um, let me see anything else to update on. Let's let me just quickly look through. Uh, still been doing a bit of Slayer. I have Dagonoths. Not sure if I want to do those or skip. I still haven't decided. Uh, got a couple of souls in here. 
Um, as far as more 99s go, I might be get it. just go ahead and knock out 99 Herbalore in the next uh, week or so, just because I'm pretty close to it, and I have more than enough herbs and supplies to make to get that level up, so that'll probably be my next one that I end up knocking out. Um, but I am going to get back to Dungeoneering as well. Uh, I also got Invention up to 100, and also 107 Farming. I got that this morning, which is cool. Uh, I can now plant the Guarana fruit trees. But uh, those, unfortunately, are paid for by Tomb Shrooms, which you don't get until either one or two more levels. Uh, I have some of those spores from brutish dinosaurs. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on planting my Guarana seeds, which are here, until I get the Tomb Shrooms, I think. Probably worth waiting. And um, then after I get the next level, I think I can check my Spicati Apoterosaur, although I obviously only have one, it's not a big deal. But um, either way, the farming's coming along nicely. I am uh, looking forward to getting up to the levels where I can check these higher ones that could possibly give me some more breeding pairs. Um, although I am still going for the Jadinkos right now. I've also started buying broad arrowheads. I, I kind of have been convinced that I'm going to need to buy them to get my fletching up. So I'm going to start buying these every day. You can get 6k from the Slayer Masters each day. Um, so I'm going to try and start doing that as often as I remember to and uh, start stocking those up towards getting enough for 99 fletching. I, uh, I do have a decent bit of cash. I, have, I got some Onyx Bolts from racks. I have some stuff in my alchemizer. I'm almost at 20 mil, so I, I can kind of afford it, but I need to keep doing PVM to keep that cash up because I am spending it quite often as I get it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I think, you guys. Uh, mostly had a lot of PVM clips this week. It was a pretty good week for me. Uh, the Armadil trip was really nice to get all these upgrades to my range set and uh, you know, the Kaiwir Wand, while not what I want, is at least better than a duplicate orb and is nice to have a set of dual wield um, mage gear because, you know, technically when I get my Kaiwir uh, Anima Core, I could actually go to Telos if I want, but I probably won't because um, I just want to wait until I have Tectonic, I think. Uh, but I definitely could do it. Uh, another problem with that is the shield like I could use the elder rune shield but I'm not sure who how badly that uh, wrecks you because it's a melee shield instead of a magic one and I think the only good magic shield outside of the one from rots is the freaking ward from from uh, Zami if I'm not mistaken I'll quickly check that I, I don't oh I do actually have a ward but it's not like I want to freaking use that oh you can get an arcane Obviously, I don't have an arcane. Um, for some reason, they don't have a nice list of them here. But obviously, the Merciless Kite Shield is ideal. Uh, either way, though, hopefully we can manage to pick up some uh, some crests next week. I am going to try and do more Hellware next week than I did this time around just to go for those. But other than that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, you guys. I hope you all did enjoy it. Oh, one other thing that I do want to mention... Um, I actually managed to get all of the golden strawberries in Celeste outside of the Chapter 9 Farewell, extremely difficult one that's kind of in a league of its own in comparison to the others. I, I am going for that. I've been practicing for it, uh, and I'm going to try and get it. But I do have a playlist of all of those on my YouTube. They're unlisted, though. I didn't actually release them as videos because they're not really that great as videos. Uh, there's a lot of background noise and stuff. It's just me playing, and I'm not really commentating or anything. But I did upload them, and I'll put the playlist in the description if you do feel like checking out the Golden Strawberries. Um, because it was pretty fun to go for and quite a challenge. But uh, not not anything compared to going getting Iron God in the end is nigh, which I don't think I'll ever top that in terms of difficulty as far as I can think of. But um, either way, enough of my rambling. Check the link in the description if you are at all interested in Celeste and want to see that playlist. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for the normal weekly Monday vlog. I'll probably talk a little bit about the archeology span video they released in that video tomorrow because it looks pretty freaking sick and that, that video got me really, really hyped for the release. So really looking forward to that. But yeah, I'll see you guys for that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace out.